Hello everybody, this is Jake and Chris coming at you from Streetlight Babble with a mini babble on... D Deadpool 2's Deadpool trailer. 2's trailer. Well, it's more of a teaser than it is a trailer. And as you can see, we're wearing red and black, the colors of Deadpool. Also the colors of our channel. Do you like? I hope you do. Please say yes. Comment, like, subscribe, all that. Oh my goodness. So. Anyway, uh, so... This just teaser trailer, I'd say it's pretty good. It's it strikes the same tone of Deadpool that, you know, that the that the movie's been striking all this time. This juxtaposition of violence and hilarity. It it, I, I, it just it's, gives me hope. It gives you hope for them Deadpool fans. So. Exactly. It's it's the right tone. Um, I know you said the comedy in the first Deadpool movie didn't exactly work for you, but I personally enjoyed it. I will say it can get a little bit dated. I re recently mm -hmm. rewatched Deadpool and thought in about two or three years these jokes are going to be seriously outdated. But I still find them funny. They're, it's it's a nice, funny mm -hmm. reality break. Yeah, it, it's 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 pretty great. That's what I like about Deadpool. I think this trailer it, it really conveys Deadpool in its essence, and I, I really think that the next movie it's not going to change. It's not going to change what it is. It's no. not. You, you you have no worries of that. Uh, the Stan Lee cameo, of course, was was great. That's great. Yeah, it was actually a cut in the theatrical version. Yeah. In the theatrical version, it was a lot shorter. It was only about a minute and a half, whereas the <laughs> actual version of the trailer is about three yeah. minutes long. But Stan Lee has a nice little one-liner. It's still Good. kicking. He's still alive. I hope he doesn't die anytime soon, because I really like me some Stan Lee cameo. Oh, Stan Lee, you beautiful man. I, I got to meet him at Comic-Con. Yeah, he did. I was too lazy. You were too lazy. And cheap. And cheap. Anyway, yeah, uh, so the in the violence in the Deadpool films, that's one, one thing I want to talk about. This was, of course, a violent trailer. An old man gets shot down by a mother. Mm -hmm. I think that what the, what Deadpool has done for comic book films is fantastic, giving it that, that violent edge that it needed. That's what made Logan so great. That's what gave Logan that grit, is because the studio knew that violence can sell as money without... You don't need to pander to children. People are still going to see it. Exactly. It's especially man-children like us. Man-children. Oh, that's weird. Uh, that's a little weird. That is a little weird, but, uh, yeah... That 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 violence, the the comic book, it's that's what DC has been trying to obtain. That grittiness that Logan had, that it was a, that was was allowed because of Deadpool, and we need to support Deadpool to keep this going, man. We, we do. We we really need to show the industry that it's okay to have violence and blood and guts in these comic book movies. That's what makes these characters more human. When something is more believable. It humanizes the characters. Deadpool, mm -hmm. to me, seemed like more of a real person than Superman did in the Batman vs. Superman movie. He seemed like more of a real person than Harley Quinn in the Suicide Squad <laughs> movie. He seems like a character that actually could exist, which is weird because he's mm -hmm. one of the more ridiculous characters there is. Yeah, it's... Uh, and, you know, Deadpool, this this trailer just shows, you know, like, as I said, the juxtaposition of Deadpool trying to change in the phone booth with his ass pressed up against the glass while an old man is being gunned down in the distance. That's just the perfect allegory for Deadpool. Yeah. Just that does the the comedy and the violence. You, you know you're going to love it if you're a Deadpool fan or whatever's coming up. Yeah, and that's kind of one of the nice things about the trailer is it doesn't cut away from Deadpool changing in the in the phone booth. It you can hear the mugging going on in the background, mm -hmm. but it it doesn't cut away to that, which I find absolutely hilarious. It was a very great idea just to focus on ryan reynolds just getting all naked in a phone booth it's it's like it's symbolic it the comedy's in your face and the violence just supports it yeah which is actually kind of interesting <laughs> because it, it ends up building up to nothing yeah it builds up to nothing old man dies and deadpool's like well poo yeah he's like i i shouldn't have changed for so long in that phone booth which probably smelled like urine that phone booth was so dank i could smell it watching it here yeah it was i mean it, it looked like it was a dank city it must have been like detroit detroit yeah we all but abandoned yeah detroit you can become great again and I, I think it's possible it's very possible we believe in you detroit I mean, we don't believe in detroit 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 Pride. city of dreams city of dead dreams now but yeah, it was it, the build up. It was still funny. It's funny seeing Ryan Reynolds, uh, Deadpool, back again, eating some ice cream on mm -hmm. a corpse. On a corpse. Because the old man gets shot once again. Comedy over the violence, supported by it. Exactly. It's beautiful, really. It's artistic. It's great choices, and one of the nice things about the 
trailer is it also kind of keeps in tune with that Deadpool vibe of putting little uh, Easter eggs in the background. Like, there, uh, uh, basically the man gets shot in front of a movie theater, and the movie theater showing Logan. There's a part where it cuts away from Deadpool as he's getting out of the phone booth, and you see a poster for Nathan Fillion in the background. Who oh, many for Firefly, I think. Yeah, it was for Firefly. Yeah, I which, remember now. Which was pretty funny. And <laughs> like you said, once again, we get the nice little Stan Lee cameo. He's like, hey, nice outfit, jackass. And <laughs> then, what is he like? Fuck you, Stan Lee, or something like that. Some, something like that. Yeah, it's it, it's just beautiful. I, th- I think if you're a Deadpool fan, this movie, this upcoming film, is going to give you exactly what you want. Exactly. Let's just say that. Well, I hope it does. We got some casting announcements that are going to be coming up here soon. Mm. Looks like they're looking at David Harbour for Cable, who is fantastic in Stranger Things. If you haven't seen Stranger Things, go see it now and you'll know what I mean. I haven't seen it yet, and you see it. Yes, you do. We can talk about that later. But, yeah, overall, great trailer. Excited for this one to come out. Looks like it's going to be coming out early next year, hopefully a February release, so that it can kind of do the same thing the first Deadpool movie did. Which is... Just alleviate all the horribleness that comes out of January and February. Yeah, it's that's a nightmare. But we did get Get Out this year in February, mm-hmm. which was a good movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, we're gonna be. I'm gonna be going to to Mexico for a few days. I might even just like film myself doing something funny there. Then later on, Jake's gonna be going to New York, so we're yeah. gonna be gone for a bit. So that's why we're recording all these things so we can release them over the time that we're gone. So uh, so yeah, while we're gone, you guys get some nice little streetlight babbles to the side. And like I said, he'll probably do something while he's in Mexico. I'll probably record something while I'm out in New York. I'm gonna go see Aladdin on Broadway. I might do a real quick review of that. I'm gonna sit on a beach and drink alcoholic things and read and yell at people younger than me. That's, that's what you do when you're on vacation, though. That is what I do. All right, well, we'll see you guys soon, and when we come back, we'll be reviewing some more movies. So, toodles. Hey.